This is Box Art Done Right, and today we're looking at Final Fantasy X for PlayStation 2. Final Fantasy X is an RPG that came out in 2001, and it is the 10th iteration in the famous Final Fantasy franchise. And this game was a gigantic hit when it came out. It was so big and so well received, and I personally love this game, that it's recently been re-released in HD for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and the PlayStation Vita, with its new box art respectively. So what makes this box art so great? Well, it's colorful, it's to the point, it covers some of the storyline and obviously the main character in the game, and it just looks beautiful. It's, it's very eye-catching. If you would see this in a store back in 2001, you would have to at least go over and take a look at it. It's that, that pretty. So what it does right is, on the box art itself, it fe features the main character, Titus. It features the background, Spira, the main world that you explore. He's standing in the water, and that is one interesting thing about this game is water and Blitzball are the background storyline, if you will. They're always there, they're always part of the story. The entire part of the game, you're sailing on a ship and playing Blitzball, the game's main sport slash minigame. And Titus, the main character, is a famous and great Blitzball player. So it has it perfectly. Him in the water, showing off and, you know, hinting at uh, Blitzball. You have the background beach where it's the first island and the home area that you visit, Besaid, that always ends up being one of those places that you revisit because it's so important to the storyline and the main characters. It's where they're all from. And on the left side of the box, which is very interesting and very subtle, they have a storm cloud. And that is hinting and, uh, you know, I guess you could say uh, creating a metaphor, if you will, for Sin, the main evil in the game that usually appears when you're sailing across the world and you usually have to fight him. And he's, he's the main antagonist in the game. So you have the protagonist in the center of the game, you have the... Besaid in the right side of the box art showing off the main home area that you visit and the antagonist on the left and of course the water Showing off Blitzball and you know the main idea behind the game where it's a very sea Heavy game where you do a lot of traveling across the water. So overall this is a fantastic box art interestingly enough though the PAL and Japanese versions are just the white background with the Final Fantasy text and uh, symbol uh, in the background. Uh, something that usually is only used for the Japanese box art, they also used for the European box art. I don't know exactly why they used this version for the North American uh, box art. I'm guessing it's because it's more eye-grabbing and they really wanted to grab consumers over uh, the European and the Japanese fans who already knew the franchise really really well and you didn't need a crazy pretty box art to grab that gamer to buy it. Thank you for watching Box Art Done Right. If you like these videos, please support the channel by subscribing and check out the Patreon in the link below. Thank you.